Hey y'all, in this video I'm going to make me a bracelet. Now, a lot of these are made with Ankara fabric. However, the base of the bracelet is just this yarn that I got from the dollar and a quarter store. And what I do is generally I'll wrap it around my arm to see how I want it. Or I'll take a bracelet and then I will sew it across with a very strong needle and some thread. As you can see, this is how it looks. So again, this is how I fold it. That way it gives it a double layer and I don't have to worry about it coming to loose and it's pretty strong. Then I use whatever fabric of choice. Now today I just so happen to have this one clip, but generally I will use my heat press to basically create a bias out of whatever cotton fabric I have and I don't know why I didn't just go ahead and press it today but anyway to get it started what I generally do is I always take the hot glue gun I say take the hot glue gun girl <laughs> take the hot glue gun and I start on the inside so I'm putting some glue to go across to be able to put that little piece of a flap on the inside that way you can't see the beginning on the inside and I like to take something to make sure it adheres and I don't burn my fingers so I use scissors a lot of times or whatever I can find so again, I was about to attempt to move this fabric in there with the clips and stuff, but we're not doing that because one, the piece of fabric is too long, and for two, the clips play too much. So I'm going to remove the clips, and I'm just going to struggle with the fabric. So yeah, this is me folding it in as tight as possible. Now, it looks like it's not going to be how you want it to look. Like, basically, it's not going to take shape, but it takes shape by how firmly you take it around and you basically create the structure or the shape of it, should I say, or how tight you turn it. And when you're turning it, you're basically overlapping the fabric um, halfway over each piece. That way you don't have to worry about anything showing and it will continue to keep its shape. Now some people stop and they'll, you know, dab glue in there. But if you wrap it good, you don't have to really worry about doing that. I made these millions of times, but I used to use like gold bangles and cover them up. But this is the method that I started using recently. And that's the end of it. And what I'm going to do is take some glue again, and I'm going to add it to the inside. And when I fold it, I'm going to press it to where it stays in place and wait a few seconds for it to dry while trying not to burn myself and once it dries down I'm going to show you how it looks so that's how it looks on the bottom and on the top that's the top so what I'm going to do is go ahead and clip that little piece off. well clip it off as close as possible with my scissors And then what, as you can see, I still have a little bit left over. I'm going to take the glue. I'm going to take the glue to run it on the inside of the fabric so I can just flap that piece over. And then I'm going to do it on the outer part. Well, the other piece that's under there. So as you can see, I'm just taking this and guiding it so everything that's glue that's there can glue and um fold over to where you can't really see it on the inside of the bracelet and that's pretty much it just making sure that part is secure you don't have to worry about it um coming apart or anything 
And that's it. That's that's all, guys. That's how the bracelet came out. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Girl, y'all was struggling, but it, it made it up there. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Smash that thumbs up. I'll see you next time.